Hello guys, Druid City is back with another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at my Lego um, Trooper Army. It's pretty small, but I mean, it's better than having no fun troopers. So, let's get into it. So first up, we have this little base play right here. This is all my 501st troopers. This is the most of like, faction, like this is the biggest faction of troopers we have in 501st. Um, so we have in the back here, we have two battle packs the newer battle packs with a little mini av cannon and then we have one of the normal battle packs like the old one from 2020 and i kind of customized these guys a little bit i already gave this guy a custom backpack so this guy's cracked because uh i kind of <laughs> I kind of left them under a shelf and I didn't realize it, so the pieces cracked. <laughs> but the rest are fine. Um, yeah, and then in the back, as you can see, like I gave this my like this commander right here, um, a pauldron. I just took an old Lego cape and cut it and make that. And as you can see, I didn't fully put the the accessories on this clan trooper because I kind of just like him. Kind of how he looks plain. And then we have a normal heavy trooper back there. Like these two with the accessories on. These guys are just kind of stuck. Re Lego needs to redesign those. And then I made this sniper guy. I gave him his own custom backpack. And I gave him a, a bulky visor. And a little pauldron too. I got a normal guy. Normal switch this guy, but he is a pauldron. And just a normal commander. I don't really like putting the antennas on because they fall off really easily. So there's no point in doing that. But yeah, that's the five of first right there. So there is all of those guys. And now it's down to the next base plate. So there's a little you know, more diversity here. So over here, we have the 187th. I also uh, added some accessories to these guys. So I gave this guy this custom backpack. And a custom pauldron. Well, actually, this is not custom. It's a Lego part. It's from the, like, the really weird Ninjago movie thing. So I cut that out. And made it like that. Like, this is, like, from Lloyd's mom's pauldron on her cape. And if you cut it in half, you can make two pauldrons. And then we have another clown here. I gave him... And then cut out pauldron. This is just a normal one. Normal clone commander. Then the clone commander with the pauldron. I love these helmets. These airborne helmets are so sick, man. I just love them so much. All right. And now we have the 212. I gave this guy a spare my macro binocular. I have two other spare ones. I'm just not using them right now. So that's pretty nice to have this. Also, we got like six of these guys from the... Because we have two Republic fighter tanks, which is pretty cool. My bad, I, I held up a three. We got two Republic fighter tanks. That's why I have that. And then... Yeah, so back to this guy. It's just a normal fighter first guy, but I put a... The micro binoculars on them. It's so cursed. That helmet right there, man. I feel like Lego could have done a way better job doing, like, just making this a triangle. And then you got two normal ones, except this guy over here has a cape. I just like giving my clones random stuff. It makes them all unique. And you can make commanders out of them. Commander Cody. 212 feeder. I love this figure. This is such a great figure. And yeah, so that's kind of it for this row. Now we have this row over here. We just, like, some miscellaneous troops. We have a clone gunner from the ATTE. We have a phase one commander, like the new style, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, new style. And then we have... 
an old style of his phase one clones from like the battle pack and stuff. It's pretty nice to have those. And then lastly, we have Commander Neo. This is my first clone trooper. It's actually my most expensive clone trooper too. I'm so lucky to like, I, I got this in nice little. I'm surprised I didn't break this guy. Like he's in great condition. Like, maybe there's just like a little bit of paint scratched off on the helmet. But there's really nothing there. One of my lights just went off. My bad if you saw that. But I love this figure so much, man. It's such a great addition to the clone army. Like, no cracks, no nothing. I think there might be a crack on his legs. Yeah, there's a... I don't know if you can see. There's a little crack on his legs right there. Oh, yeah, that's, I think you can see now, but I mean, besides that, this figure is great. And, yeah, now we have the Senate Commandos. These guys are really nice figures. Two of these are cracked, and the other two are fine, so this one's cracked. Uh, this one's not cracked. We got these from the Battle Pack. We actually lost the original Commander, so we just got another one. But, I mean, we have the helmet and the legs, but we just can't find the torso. For this guy but yeah this guy's not quite it's a pretty nice figure to have and then i think this guy's cracked yeah these are old figures man and then as you can see this right here is our senate guard commando commander i don't know Com i don't know what to call him he's she's just a commander of these commandos and we gave him another, as you can see, we, the other half is over here. And we made two pockets out of that, which is pretty nice. But I love this figure. The detail on the helmet is so nice. So. It's pretty nice to have. I guess. Pretty decently sized Clone Trooper Army. Now, that's the end of the video. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> I don't know how to end this, man. Just stay tuned for the next video to come out.